Hello, this week's devotion is about hospitality. Hospitality is the friendly and generous reception of guests, visitors, or strangers. Hospitality is the relationship between guests and a host where the host extends goodwill. One scholar said hospitality is a great virtue of a great soul that cares for the whole universe through their effort of caring. Hospitality is wholly inclusive of how people treat others. Hospitality is a great virtue that many business foundations of whether they are successful or not is dependent on their hospitality towards guests, clients, and customers. There's a whole profession rooted in hospitality and most hotel hospitality is the key to their success. There are professional conferences that take place to ensure the best is offered to guests and clients. Hospitality plays a fundamental role in argument that success in any organization, including church. Romans 12 and 13 says, contribute to the needs of saints, extend hospitality to the stranger. Hebrew 13 and 2 says, do not neglect showing hospitality to strangers, for by doing that, some have entertained angels unaware without even knowing it. Can you imagine that? Entertaining an angel and our hospitality is a key figure in how God sees us towards our treatment of others. I know in the area of leadership, there's a theory uh, that states that people do not lead jobs, they lead supervisors, and people do not remember as to how much they worked, but they remember how they were treated. Hospitality is grounded in the Word of God through love and action. God requires us to treat those who would be our enemies in love through hospitality. If they're hungry, we must feed them. If they're thirsty, we must give them drink. If they're sick, we must take care of them. If they're in prison, we must visit them. And if they are strangers, we are to welcome them. God uses Matthew 25, uh, 13 through the 45th verse to judge the nation as well as the church and the people of the church. That's how important hospitality is to God. Jesus called those who show great hospitality sheep and those who do not show hospitality goats. How we treat our visitors in the house of God is so important to our Father. It is so important that we do not become haughty or egotistical just because we feel we have been blessed and we do not have to invite or be hospitable to others. I am probably preaching to the choir because St. John has shown me nothing but extravagant hospitality since I've came on board as the interim associate pastor. Pastor Lisa in the church council and members have figurative rolled out the red carpet for me and for that I am very grateful. I believe hospitality is one of St. John's strongest foundation and it's, it's just a matter of time before new members will come because you have such warmth and inviting spirits. So I encourage you to keep doing what you're doing and it's just a matter of time before God allows the good news of St. John's hospitality and love for Jesus is well known. Hospitality, St. John, you are beautiful in the area of hospitality. Let us pray. Most gracious and holy God, we just thank you for the hospitable spirit that is here at St. John. And oh God, we ask that you just continue to strengthen us in that warmth and that love and compassion for our guests and the stranger, oh God. We ask that uh, we will continue to be very mindful of continuing to show the hospitality that is pleasing in thy sight. Oh God, we thank you and we give you praise for the spirit of hospitality that rests in this place. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hospitality.
St. John, you are so beautiful, and I thank God for your hospitality, for it truly has made me feel very welcome. God bless you.